It's great to be back with Kurt Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler, financial instructors with the Retirement Education Foundation. Hi, everyone. I'm Megan Mozak. This is the Retirement Education Hour. As we go through our show today, you'll be hearing about the foundation's courses that help you get more confidence around retirement. We're going to tell you how to register, where they're held, all the details so that you can sign up. These spots fill up quickly. So we'll give you all of that throughout the program today. And we do have a great show lined up for you. You know, each and every week, we give you tips, strategies, and insights that you need to know about here in the 21st century if you want to have a successful retirement. And we're going to do a lot of that here on the show today. And, you know, there's really, I think, probably a pretty big misconception that we have to get to the bottom of here on the show today, Kirk. And Paul, and that is, don't be fooled into thinking you have a retirement plan. You see a lot of individuals fall for this, and we want to shine some light. So tell us what we're missing and how we fall into this misconception. Well, Megan, I think it's it's centered around what the financial service industry has used used as a default for their retirement planning. If you look at all the software out there, the e-money, the Money Guide Pros, your four your retirement calculators on your four on your four hundred one ks and your four hundred three bs. Fidelity's retirement calculators, Schwab's they're all the same. They're all built on and are based upon what is called a Monte Carlo simulation. And a Monte Carlo simulation runs through hundreds of scenarios to determine based upon a sixty percent stock, forty percent bond portfolio, the likelihood of whether or not you're going to outlive your money or not. It's a really simplified, generic, one-size-fits-all solution to a retirement plan that for so many people who have, who have saved and have resources for retirement, you're, they're, they're, miss, they're missing it. There, there's, there's so much more that they can have and do, and they get this sometimes a false sense of security because the probability of success tells you that you only have a, a 10 or 20% chance of outliving your money, or they get discouraged and they keep working because the, the software says they're going to outlive their money. There's a 30% chance of outliving their money, so they keep working. No one's doing any real work behind the scenes. There's no real planning. It's so generic, and, and, it, and it's really a broken model to approaching retirement planning, Paul. You know, I, Kirk, I totally agree, right? I mean, there are a lot of flaws, a lot of problems with, you know, th- this whole way of planning that our, that our industry obviously promotes. But you have to admit, they're beautiful looking, though, right? I mean, the right? You got <laughs> beautiful dials, right? You know, colored pages are usually like 40 50 pages, right? I mean, how can that be bad, right? I mean, that's the problem is they look beautiful and people think because they look beautiful and because they're 40 pages, man, it, it, it has to be true, right? These have to be valuable. Sorry. Sure, I mean, it, most of the time we can throw them in the garbage. That's an extreme comment, but I, I can't tell you how many times I've seen them and they're useless in they're, so well, many they ways. Are, they're so useless. They, look, they, I mean- it looks like someone spent a lot of time doing some planning for you. And <laughs> I mean, it does. And and I, it, sincerely, for the financial service industry, it, it's really powerful tool that's helped them to become much more profitable. Is what it's done. It has simplified something that is not simple and tends to be very complicated. It just is. Look. For the average baby boomer, the average retiree who has only saved, they, they, they've they saved $200,000 for retirement. Okay, if you want to use this generic one-size-fits-all software system to, to, to design your retirement plan, that, that's probably fine because you don't have a lot of flexibility. You really need to protect your principal, and, and, and you're probably going to want to stay very, very, very conservative in your distribution approaches. But those people who have saved resources have a million, two, five, ten million dollars. Don't use these one size fits all solutions. You're cutting yourself, selling yourself so short and often are working way longer than you need to. I'd encourage you to register for one of our eight hour classes. We're teaching them at all the major universities. Go to retirement planning edu.org that's retirement planning edu.org you know you know kirk one of the things that I, that uh, i'm always sort of i guess fascinated surprised by is we meet people in classes right and, and and you ask the class how many of you have 
retirement plans, right? How many of you have advisors that have built your retirement plans? And usually, you know, you get a handful of people raise their hands. And then when you sit and talk to them, you know, there's no planning. There's been literally the word planning. They should not use the word planning when they, when they talk about Monte Carlo. There's no planning. They put in some numbers in a computer program, but there's actually no active planning. And, and the problem is so many people are making decisions based on this, retiring based on this, right? I, I know people who made decisions to retire and years later, you know, realize that, 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 that it's flawed. And, and right, you see this. It, this is prevalent. This is what most advisors are calling retirement plans, a Monte Paul. Carlo simulation. It's not just what advisors are calling retirement planning, but it's what the consumer is depending on with all their 401ks and the Schwabs and the Fidelities and everyone who's doing it themselves. Everyone, everyone is using the same calculator. It's all, all, no matter what the system, no matter how the graphs turn out, no matter how many pages in your documents that an advisor provides for you or you do yourself. It's all built on Monte Carlo simulations. It's all the same model. It's the same concept. And it is, it is so flawed. You are, it is okay. I, I get so worked up. I don't even know how to describe because our industry has fooled so many people into believing this is the, the secret solution to your retirement plans. Literally, I could spit out in one day, I could have one of my teams spit out 30 retirement plans on these software systems. It doesn't take – that's why there's people on the radio, Paul, that says that the, the next 10 callers get uh, a free roadmap to retirement. We hear – whatever station you're listening to, whatever town you're in, it's the same pitch telling you the same thing. It's because they have someone put spending 15 to 30 minutes punching in your – information and it spits out a probability of success and tells you take your 3.3% out per year or 4% out per year and you have a 90% chance of success or a 70% chance of success. This is flawed. Look, bottom line, you, if you have resources, can take much more than what those probability of success reports are telling you. You need to go to one of our eight-hour courses. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity, and you can attend one of our classes at just about every major university in Michigan. If you'd like to register, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Back with Kirk and Paul right after this. Happy to be alongside Kirk Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler. They're both with the Retirement Education Foundation. Kirk and Paul are instructors. In fact, they're some of the instructors you may meet when you sign up for the foundation's courses. These are retirement planning courses, and I want to tell you how you can attend and you can get registered today. Simply go to the website, retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. You can also call to register 800 240 8981. And keep in mind that these courses are taught throughout the year at major Michigan universities, including the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, both the Troy and Novi campuses, or Oakland University. There's also an at-home version. That's right. You can watch virtually, but make plans to attend. Either way, no matter what location you show up at, we want you to be there. So get a seat today. Either call or go online. Again, that website is retirementplanningedu.org. All right. We're talking about how you can't be fooled into thinking that you have a retirement plan you know, simply if you've had your your numbers run through a Monte Carlo simulation, we hear this a lot, Monte Carlo. What is this exactly, Kirk and Paul? It's some sort of software, I would imagine. How does it work? Paul, why don't you share with uh, our listeners exactly what a Monte Carlo simulation is and how it works. And basically, it's it's the software, and I want you to explain how it works, but it's the software that no matter what firm you go to it's a retirement calculator this is the this is the default calculator for all the different firms whether it's e-money money guy pro or your 401ks or schwab or fidelity's retirement calculators they're all do, using the same behind the scenes uh simulation can you explain it paul yeah i mean i mean the alt just to be clear the the goal of this computer program is to help people determine are they going to run out of money in the future right 
ev- that's the goal, right? Everybody wants to know, do I have enough money, right? So what this program does is it back tests. It uses historical data and it runs hundreds and thousands of simulations based on historical data to determine the probability that you will succeed in the future, right? At the end of the day, what it gives you is it gives you a, a number based on historical data running hundreds and thousands of simulations using past history, what's the likelihood that you will succeed or not? Now, the important thing is it doesn't say, will you succeed or not? What it gives you is a number. You have an 85% probability of succeeding. You have a 90% you know, percent chance of, of succeeding. It gives you a probability number. And that number is used to help people supposedly feel more confident or less confident in retiring. So it's a software that uses historical data, runs hundreds and thousands of simulations based on that data to determine whether you will succeed or not. And the, you know, the challenge of course is, well, there's many challenges. We're going to get into them, but it, it, again, it doesn't tell you whether you're going to succeed or not. It gives you a probability and people make decisions on, on, on whether they retire or not. And, and you know, most people, if they have an 85% probability of succeeding, they think that's sufficient and then they retire. And the problem is you don't realize until later whether you're part of the 85% or the 15%, right? But that's basically what the software does. And, and Paul, as you said, you put some numbers in, there's really no work. It's a software and the software spits out this probability. It, Paul, it's funny that you shared the one side of the, the equation where People make a decision to retire, and you don't know if you're the 15% that's yeah. going to fail. Good or point. Yes, I know where you're going. I'm actually, I I'm more going. Conser- you know where I'm going because I know where you're going. I'm telling you again. Yes. If you are the average baby boomer, use those calculators. If you have two hundred thousand dollars or less saved, use the calculator. You have to take the most conservative approach you can. But I am telling you right now, and this is this is where our the financial service industry falls short. Their unwillingness to take that person with a million, two, three, four, five, ten million. Th- that's why we started the foundation. There is nobody doing real advanced retirement planning for people that have between a million and ten million dollars. It doesn't exist. And that software is a waste of time. That software is going to tell you you can take out 3.3% right now. So you've saved $2 million and you're allowed to take out sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 a year? That's insane. We're going to teach you in the classes. If you have $2 million and you're 65 years old, you should be able to take one hundred forty dollars to $160,000 with a zero chance, a zero chance of outliving your cash flow. Zero chance of outliving your cash flow. It Kirk, requires be, be, planning. There you, oh, okay, I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. You, you have to plan to do that. You can't just assume that. So, so people are like, what does planning mean? Planning means right. that you have to model 30 years of income. And what's going to drive the success, Paul, and you know this, isn't the performance of your investments. You guys are all focused on the wrong thing. You are no longer accumulating wealth, but you are now distributing the wealth. Or you're very close to start distributing the wealth. So everything needs to be based upon when do I take income, from which account, at what age, to minimize two things. One is sequence of return risk. We got to reduce that risk and minimize taxes. And it's all going to come down to managing, not your investments, not stock timing or, mar- or, or stock picking or market timing. That isn't it, folks. Please hear us. I know that's what the industry, the financial service industry has conned you into believing that they have some something secret about managing your money that can... Ha- it's, that's not what's going to drive performance. What's going to drive performance is making sure you're not withdrawing money out of accounts that are exposed to market risk. That is down when the market is down. You cannot pull money out of your accounts when the market's down. And Paul, next segment, and let's tease it now. What we're going to talk about is these Monte Carlo calculators that they're all depending on is depending on a 60-40 allocation, 60% stocks, 40% bonds, and that has failed. That, that isn't the solution. It's not simple. That has failed because your 60-40s are losing just as much as the 100% equity portfolio has lost over the last 12 months. So it's not working. Their default cookie cutter, one size fits all software that everyone gets the same thing is not going to work for those people who want to take a controlled spend down of their principal just without outliving their money. It's not working. Please... I, I feel like we're talking circles here sometimes because we 
just go to the website. Go to our website and watch some of the webinars. Read some of the white papers. We are on a, a charitable program designed to educate you on how to more successfully enjoy your retirement. And enjoying your retirement means retiring when you can retire, not working longer than you need to because you're afraid, and then spending your money that you've earned. That's what retirement's about. So register for one of our classes. We're teaching at just about every major university. They're eight-hour classes taught over one full day or two evenings. We stream the classes so you can stay at home if you want while we're teaching from the universities. Go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. And we'll be back much more straight ahead with Kirk Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler. We're glad to have you aboard the show today. It's the Retirement Education Hour. Megan Mozak seated here with financial instructors Kirk Cassidy, Dr. Paul Mettler, both with the Retirement Education Foundation. And if you have not signed up for the foundation's courses, I want to point you to the website so you can do that today. Why? Well, because we believe you deserve the confidence it takes to go into the 21st century retirement knowing what you, number one, are going to be up against, and number two, that you have the tools at your disposal to have a successful retirement. It's so critical. These courses are designed to give you those tools, to give you that confidence. Kirk and Paul, they're two of the financial instructors that you may meet along the way when you attend. Here is how to register. Simply go to the website, retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. You can also call to register 800-240-8981. These are taught at major Michigan universities, including the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Novi and Troy campuses, or Oakland University. So lots of options for you, no matter where you are here in the metro, find a location that's convenient for you and a date that works and make plans to attend. Okay, so we're talking today about how you don't want to get fooled into thinking you have a comprehensive plan for retirement simply because you may have had an advisor in the past run your numbers through a Monte Carlo simulator um, and a variety of other things that can kind of lull you into this idea that you're okay for retirement. Kirk and Paul are here to kind of rip that Band-Aid off and show you the truth. And I want to talk a bit about what you said earlier, Kirk, when you talked about that 60 40 allocation and what we need to know about that, because that's something we hear quite a bit about. What's the truth there? Well, so a couple of things, right? So I think most people are familiar with the dial, right? And and Paul had mentioned this in break. We need to talk about the dial because a lot of people look at their dial and that dial is telling you the, the likelihood of success. And there's two things. One, Megan, you said to make sure they are okay. And okay is not good enough in retirement. Meaning running out of money isn't good enough and or underspending what you otherwise could be spending because you're using one size fits all planning is also not good enough or retiring or working longer than you need to in stumbling into health issues and then not being able to enjoy your retirement. Those are all not good enough. Okay is not good enough. Demand individualized, customized solutions. That's what you need to demand. And P.S., that's what we teach at the class. So that's why the class is eight hours. It's complicated. And we're going to teach you to at least understand all the different levers that need to be utilized and navigated and created to build an individualized custom plan for yourselves, right? So so that you know, is the person helping me, giving me this one-size-fits-all solution, or do they really know what they're doing and they're building me an individualized plan, right? See, the whole industry, the whole industry still defaults to this general rule of thumb. And that general rule of thumb is we're going to put 60% of your money in stocks, 40% of your money in bonds. And if I'm 65 years old, when we run the dial, all the simulations, there's only about, well, the truth is at 4% now, you have almost a 30% chance of outliving your money. So now they're actually using 3.3% distribution rates. So 60% in stocks, 40% in bonds, and you can take out 3.3% per year out of your investments 
and your dial will tell you that you only have about a 10% chance of outliving your money. That's what the dial will tell you. It's so sad because that, that is a waste of time. That, you should be able to spend a lot more money than that if someone would spend the time to map it out for you. Paul, I know this frustrates you because you see it all the time. And people are getting smacked right now over the last couple of years with their 60-40 allocations. It didn't provide the protection that it once did and people thought would continue to provide them, do, does it? Yeah, no, and I really actually loved when you talked about it's not okay. And, and I, I think... You know, it, it, I think that's really at the heart of all of this, right? The problem is the our industry really hasn't come up with an alternative solution, right? That's profitable for for most people, right? So that you the said problem. it. You, you 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 got it. Sorry, I'm gonna interrupt. Don't you know, interrupt. You you nailed it. It, it. They they don't have a solution that they can scale and simplify so they can do it for the masses, and they're not interested in spending that time, are they? Because that time means they can't sell somebody something else. So I'm sorry I interrupted, but I, you nailed it. I'm glad you picked up on that and you articulated it much better than I did. So go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I mean, I, I think it, 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 that's the challenge, right? The challenge is, you know, it, it, the industry doesn't just hasn't come up with a profitable model, so it keeps using the same, you know, the same model that's used for year, you know, for years. Because you know, this, sadly, the average retiree doesn't know any better. And that doesn't mean you're ignorant. It just means you don't know anything better. So you keep accepting it. And, and if it works and people buy it, you, you know, people keep selling it. But, but I loved what you said in the beginning. And I think this is really the key is that it's not just that you, you know, it's not just that you're going to retire and potentially run out of money. We often see people utilizing these dials and not retiring, continue to work right? When they don't have to and never really get to enjoy retirement, right? Health issues come up, things happen. And that's equally sad. That's equally problematic. At the end of the day, you all have worked hard. You deserve to retire when you're ready and you should get a plan that allows you to make that decision so that you can enjoy it and live freely. And I, I, you know, I meet people every, it's what's frustrating. I meet people every day that aren't enjoying their retirement because of this. And, and there are a lot because of behavioral issues that get into this that at some point I like to get to too, but yeah, it, it's, it's really too bad, but that's, that's what the industry promotes, right? That's all they know. That's all everyone's talked about for how many years have they been looking at their retirement calculators on their fours, 401ks or 403bs on their Schwabs and their fidelity accounts. This is their dial. This is their gauge of when they can go and how much they can spend. And it's wrong. It's not even close to being right, folks. I'm telling you. Let me restate. It is fine. It is right for those average baby boomers who have saved $200,000. That's what it is. The average baby boomer has saved $200,000 or less. Those rules, those plans, those calculators are fine for those people. But if you have 700, a million, two million, three, four, five million, you don't need those that you need something individualized. You should have retired a long time ago. I'm telling you, so many of you are working and don't need to be working. Just attend one of the eight hour classes so you can learn. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. We're teaching them at all the major universities. We're streaming them live. It's very convenient. Register at retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org or call 800-240-8981. Much more straight ahead. You're listening to the Retirement Education Hour. It's always a pleasure to be alongside Kurt Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler, both financial instructors with the Retirement Education Foundation. Here's how you can attend the Foundation's retirement planning courses. Again, these are deep dives into all things retirement, how to retire successfully in the 21st century. Kirk, Paul, the other instructors, they make this easy to understand. They help you with this so that you can feel confident going into this next phase of life. Go to the website to get registered, retirementplanningedu.org. It's retirementplanningedu.org. Or you can call to register 800 240 8981. Kirk and Paul, as we've talked about these one size fits all plans or these calculators that people rely upon for their retirement planning, you know, something we have to talk about is what you call the number one risk to retirees, and that is sequence of return risk. Explain what this is and how this factors in. 
look, this is the number one risk. It's called sequence of return risk. If you don't know what it is, do yourself a favor right now. I'm serious. Go go to the charity's website, right? We're a charitable program. We pro provide resources for the general public to learn. Go learn about sequence of return risk. We have a white paper on it. We have interactive calculators. You need to know this trap. And unfortunately, a lot of people are stumbling into this trap right now. Literally right now, as we speak, there's so many of you that have de depended on these, these one size fits all retirement plans, the calculators. So if you're do it yourself or you're using calculators online to decide on how and when to take income, how much income, what your probability of success is, you're using, you're really using the same tools that the advisors are using, you're just smart enough to use those tools, right? And a lot of people depend on advisors. They don't realize that they're using these same softwares that are available on, <laughs> to the public, right? Here's the problem. They're all, so, so forever we've been defaulting for retirees to take 60% of their money and put it in stocks and 40% in bonds, okay? And the theory has been is that when stocks are volatile, bonds will be um, a lot less volatile, not as much volatility so that we can draw our income from those bonds during times of market volatility. Well, guess what? That doesn't work anymore. It hasn't worked for a little while now. Over the last five years, stocks and bonds have been over 90% correlated, meaning they are moving in the same direction and losing significant amounts at the same time. Just for the record, everyone needs to know this. Over the last one year, the AG, which is the benchmark for bonds, is down 13% over the last year. And if you bought a 20-year treasury, you're down 24 to 26% over the last... That's bond, Those are bonds. Down Bonds are down 10 to 25% over the last year. No place to hide. There's The conventional wisdom, that cookie-cutter, one-size-fits-all solution that all of you are getting... Just trust us when we tell you. I'm not lying to you. All the advisors use the same thing. It's just e-money, Money Guide Pro, or another version of it. And it's just running Monte Carlo simulations and giving you a dial of probability. And they're allocating your money, 60% stocks, 40% bonds. In, in a minute, after Paul talks here in a minute, I'll talk to you about what some advisors are doing to counteract that and the problem with that is. But that 60-40 is failing. It's failing miserably because you are withdrawing money to live on when your portfolios, every all of it's down. Everything is down. And you can't do that. That sequence of return risk, that will destroy your retirement plan. Well, I think that's, you know, without getting into the into the weeds here, right, the, the problem is, is that dial, right? Going back to what a Monte Carlo simulation is, it's, it's back testing historical data. The problem is that dial doesn't take into consideration when you're retiring, where the market is when you retire and sequence of return risk, right? It does not take that into consideration. It assumes, it assumes the past is always going to be the same as the future and it assumes consistency. And the problem is we don't have a market that's consistent, right? And, and, and people don't discover this. Until they've already <laughs> retired or, or, or they don't discover this because they don't retire and could have. Right. So I, that's the problem. The Monte Carlo simulation, this dial does not take into consideration that sequence of return risk. And as you said, it's the greatest risk we're facing. Paul, here's the deal. Look, I, and, and we talk, we spend a lot of time in the class discussing sequence of return risk and show real life examples of the impact it has on your portfolio. I know, especially you do-it-yourselfers, I know you think, and I know the financial service industry tells you that what is going to drive your success in retirement is what you invest in. And I'm telling you, that's not what's going to drive your success in retirement. I know you don't believe me. I know really smart people with $5 million, $10 million, because you've saved so well and you hit the stock market at the right time when your compound interest was booming towards the tail end of your retirement, you all are overconfident and don't understand what is going to cause and drive failure and drive performance. You cannot pull money. Look, in our class, we show an example where you can have an average 10% rate of return, an average return of over 10% for 20 years. So performance was great, right? 
And I can show you if you just withdraw 5% a year, 5% out of that portfolio per year, how you can run out of money in 17 years. And you're going to say, that's impossible. you got an average 10% rate of return and you're only taking out 5%. How can I run out of money in 17 years? Because if you, if, because if you pull money out early and we have a recession or a major market event, or not even a major market event, you're dead. It's not performance. It's where you're pulling your income from because when you pull money out of your investments, you have fewer shares. It means it compounds the loss. Just tr just play with the math. Go to our website and play with the calculators. You're going to see where if it returns well early, you win. If we have poor for for performance in the first five years of your retirement, you lose. You have We're going to have four to seven major market events throughout a 30-year retirement. This, what you're going through right now, is going to happen again many times. And I know next segment, Paul wants to talk about behavior. I'm telling you guys, you got to build a custom individualized plan for your dollars, for your situations, and making sure it's an income plan pulling money from different places at different times, not switching your investments at different times to different places. you got it backwards. You all have it backwards. You need to come to one of our eight-hour courses. We're teaching at University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State, Novi and Troy campus, Oakland University. We're streaming it live. It's two uh, evenings or one full day, eight hours, 200-page textbook. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. If you'd like to register, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Back with Kirk and Paul right after this. This is the Retirement Education Hour. Hi, everyone. Have you registered yet for the courses we've been telling you about? Remember, these courses are sponsored by the Retirement Education Foundation. You can meet financial instructors just like Kirk Cassidy, Dr. Paul Mettler, and others when you attend. And you can expect to walk away armed with information and confidence about retiring in the 21st century. And it takes a lot of planning. It takes a different mindset, certainly different than what your parents or grandparents faced. We want you to be ready. So here's what you need to do. Make plans to go to the website. Go right now, retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. You can also call, if you'd like to register, 800-240-8981. These are taught at major Michigan universities, including the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Novi and Troy campuses, or Oakland University. In fact, we make it easy for you. There's even an option to attend virtually from the comfort of your own home. Find out more. Go to the website, retirementplanningedu.org. All right. So Kirk and Paul, as we've been talking about these software systems and these online retirement calculators you can use, you know, all those things are fine and, and they might have a place in retirement planning. But one thing that they do not take into consideration is the human variable, the emotional component and the emotions that we do have as humans toward our money. Talk about that. Okay. I'm going to talk to the men for a minute. Hear me men. Okay. Men who have been successful saving and investing their money and have accumulated wealth. I'm talking one to 10, $20 million of wealth. A, you're way overconfident. You know a lot less than you think you know. I know you're going to be mad at me and that's okay. I need to smack you. I need you guys to hear me. You're also not insightful enough and emotional enough to recognize how vulnerable you will be. You will be with your money once you retire. Your relationship with money is going to change. Women are able to manage this much better because they're insightful enough to know that they're going to be anxious and nervous. Men want to hide it, and they hide it through stupid, silly things like, oh, I can't retire until Medicare starts, like something magical and Medicare's free or something. I can't retire until I hit this number. Why this number? I don't know. It's because you have anxiety and fear. Recognize. Look. Once you retire, no one else is going to pay you a paycheck. Nobody. You got to pay yourselves, right? You have to pay yourselves for the rest of your life. Your money has to last. And all you've been doing, all you've been doing is serving money your whole life, saving and serving, 
the first time in your life for many, 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 many years, decades, you will need to let money serve you, spend it, spend the money. What a concept. You're going to spend it and you're going to be vulnerable and scared doing it because no one else is paying you a paycheck. This is a different relationship with money that most of you who, particularly those who have been real successful, they're overconfident and they don't understand this is a problem. Paul, this is your this is your sweet spot. This is your background. Paul's he likes to call himself a recovering psychologist, but you're not. I mean, you are nationally recognized, especially with elderly and psychology and behavior. You know this space. Tell them, please, so they hear us. Well, I mean, you know, we both have experienced this. Part of the reason why I wanted to talk about this a actually came from a, a discussion I had with someone in the class who actually. We made a decision based on a 90% probability to retire. And March of 2020, the market went down, what how much, What was it, Kirk? 30%? 34%. And what did this person do? 90% probability, could re, they were, he was told, you can live the rest of your life and enjoy your retirement. What do you think he did March of 2020? He panicked. He Just panicked. like 35% of all people over the age of 65 panicked in March. You guys don't get it. I know you didn't panic during the financial crisis, but you were working and someone else was paying, giving you a paycheck. They panicked, Paul. They panicked because all they had was a stupid calculator and That's a right. dial. So guess what happens? He panics, sells everything, goes to cash. Yep. He done. thinks he's smart. No, he, he thinks he's, he's smart. When I met him in the class recently, still in cash. Yeah, still in cash. The hu- here's the reality: human nature. We're not computers, you guys. We are not computers. I don't care what software people use. We're human beings, and human beings make decisions based on emotions, not based on a calculator, not based on statistics. We make decisions based on fear, anxiety, and emotion. And there is no software that's going to help you with that, right? Okay. You all, you have to consider the human nature component of this. And and the problem is these dial. Software programs, these dial retirement plans do not work because they don't take that into consideration. Paul, I hope people hear us. I know I, I, I know. It, 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 occasionally p- there's people who get offended when we tell them they're scared and, and vulnerable. I, I, in, in, in some of the comments we make, they, we they get all... offended. Look, look, Paul, the, the bottom line is we, we've done this 20 years plus. We've been teaching our class to thousands, tens of thousands of people in all the major universities for over 10 years now. We And we track the data. We know your behavior because we see it. We constantly are seeing it. We have so much more experience and insight of how you're going to behave and how you're going to react. And, and it doesn't help that you read a newspaper article and people say, oh, inflation, you need to start cutting back. If the market's volatile, you got to protect your principal. They're brainwashing you, folks. Why do you think they want you to protect your principal? So they can bill you on those dollars that you're not spending. <laughs> I mean, come on. They're manipulating your emotions. They know how you're going to behave. The financial service industry spends billions of dollars on behavioral finance. People like Paul to tell that tell them how can we manipulate people to do what we want them to do. <laughs> so that is the, that is the empowering part of our class. I I don't want to be corny, but it's the insight to understand how to build an individualized, customized plan for yourself so that you can retire earlier than you thought. You can spend more. Look. Bottom line, ready? Here it is. I'm telling you, if you're in your mid 60s, your mid 60s, and you're married, you both have Social Security, you can take out seven, eight percent per year with zero chance of outliving your cash flow. It's going to require somebody spending 50 to 60 hours to build an individualized plan for you to map out every time there's a major market. They're going to happen. We know there's going to be major market events, we know there's going to be life events. We just don't know when it's going to happen. So you have to have the pivots. You have to understand how to construct a plan that you can pivot during these times from an income perspective, where I'm taking the income from, to minimize taxes so you don't have to take out as much when we have volatility. Just invest eight hours of your time. Make a $29 donation to charity. And I'm telling you, you guys will be so much better prepared for retirement so much better prepared to ha- find somebody that is going the right person to help you get the freedom to spend the way you should spend in retirement. Register at retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. 
And we'll return with more Retirement Education Hour right after this. It is always such a pleasure to be alongside financial instructors Kurt Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler. They're with a Retirement Education Foundation, and this is the Retirement Education Hour. We want to make sure you get registered for the foundation's courses taught at major Michigan universities, including the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Novi, and Troy campuses, or Oakland University. Lots of options here to attend, so we want you to go to the website, find a date and a location that works great for you and make plans to enroll in these courses designed to give you confidence about your retirement future. Go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Or you're always welcome to call 800-240-8981. As we've talked about some of these one-size-fits-all retirement plans, and maybe you've experienced this, right? Having an advisor tell you, you just have to figure out your Monte Carlo simulation and understand what your, your probability is for a successful retirement. Or maybe just use this calculator to find out or use this software and you'll know. And Kirk and Paul, they've done a great job today explaining it's so much more than that. It really does come down to a plan, which is something I hear the two of you talk about all the time. Yeah, Megan, it's funny in our break here, we were just talking and it's, so the people who attend our courses, like we know the demographic, they've been teaching this for over 10 years at all the major universities. We're now allowing you to stream and watch it from your home. And what we know is the average person attending our course has over a million dollars, somewhere between a million and $10 million saved for retirement. They tend to have greater than four years of college education, so they tend to be highly educated. A lot of do-it-yourselfers come to our courses, right? A lot of engineers, a lot of executives, CPAs, attorneys. These are sophisticated people that in their careers, in their lives, this is what they they do, cost-benefit analysis. They make critical decisions in their jobs that they, they, they have to make. And so they feel like heading into retirement that that is what they're going to do with a retirement plan. They're going to use a calculator online. They're going to do some research. They're going to find some software to use, a calculator to determine their social security, or they're going to hire an advisor who's going to use eMoney, Money Guy Pro, some software with 40 pages. It looks fancy. It's going to give you a dial. And you feel like that you're just going to be able to ride this out because you're logical. I do cost-benefit analysis all the time at work. I make critical decisions in my career every single day. Here's the difference. You're doing it, most of the time, you're doing it for somebody else. If you make a mistake, there are do-overs because you work for companies that can afford occasional mistakes. There is no margin for error in retirement planning. There is no do-over. This isn't a cost-benefit analysis. There's no going back to work when you're 75 years old and you realize, oh my gosh, I made a bad call. I made a bad decision. Oh, and by the way, you're not spending someone else's money. You're spending your money and it's your money, your mistake. And there's going to be so much confusion and noise and opinions out there that are going to overwhelm you that people panic. They panic and they make bad decisions all the time. Human emotions get in the way of successful retirement all the time, all the time. So this is what you need, and this is what we teach in the class. You need to learn what, you may not be able to do it yourself, but you need to at least know what a real retirement, individualized retirement plan looks like. It's an eight-hour course, right? We spend eight hours, and we teach you what takes us in our private practice 50 to 60 hours to build a plan. That's CPAs, CFAs, attorneys, wealth managers. We're spending 60 hours to map out an individual's person's retirement plan. It maps out when I'm taking income, from which accounts, at what age, how do I minimize taxes, when do I take money out of the IRAs versus the non-IRAs, should I be Roth converting, when should each individual person take Social Security, because all of you are doing it wrong. Look, that's not my data, that's the Social Security Administration, 90% of you get it wrong. There are hundreds of choices with Social Security, and the Social Security benefit is not what determines when you should take it or not, it's the taxation on all your other dollars and how it impacts your other dollars. We teach you all the levers and there's what happens when one spouse predeceases the other spouse, right? It's mistake after mistake. That surviving spouse goes from married filing joint to single. Their allowable income gets cut in half for taxes, for Medicare, for everything. There are traps galore and you can't use a cookie cutter software 
that one size fits all. You are individualized and you have wealth. You have resources. So if you want to spend your money, not panic, you need a customized plan. And that's what we teach in the class, Paul. Yeah, and you, and, you I know, rambled, it's, it's sorry. hard. No, no, it, it's hard. It's hard in a seven, eight minute segment to explain what a plan is. But two things come to mind that I think are important for people to understand. One is it, a true plan is your plan. It's not generalized to everybody else. It's unique to you. And all of you have your own unique goals, needs, and desires. It addresses all possible risks that can happen. And if it's a good plan, it gives you ch- places to, you can pivot if, if something changes in your life. You need a one-time expense. Taxes go up. One of you has a health care scare. One of you ends up with dementia, right? You know, one of you dies first, right? A true plan allows you... T- the freedom of flexibility to pivot when you need to, depending on all the risks that are out there. And that is individualized. And that's key. It's key to true planning. And that's not something any software can produce for you that only happens when you have a team of people who build it together. And in the class, we're going to show you what all those components are so that you know what to look for. You know, at the end of the day, so you can truly enjoy your retirement, Kirk. That's really I what a plan it. is in a, in a nutshell. I love it. You said it. A real plan is your plan, an individualized plan. I love it. And look, we we know we're going to have major events. We're going to have four to seven major market events throughout your 30-year retirement. People are going to get sick. They're going to die. There ha- and we call them pivots. Paul said it. There's a pivot. There has to be a pivot. We don't know when it's going to happen, but when it does happen, we have to have the ability to pivot, to navigate that. It's not changing your investments or changing your investment strategies. It's very different than that. Attend one of our eight-hour courses. We teach them over two evenings or one full Saturday. We teach them at most of the major universities in Michigan, so University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan, Michigan State, Oakland University. We're streaming the classes live so you can watch them for your home while we teach them at the universities. If you'd like to attend, go to retirementplanningedu.org or call 800-240-8981. Investment advisory services are offered by Strategic Investment Advisors, Inc., an SEC-registered investment advisory firm. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any insurance discussed in this show is backed by the financial strength and claims-paying abilities of the issuing carrier. This show is intended for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the particular needs of an individual situation. Retirement Education Foundation is not permitted to offer, and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. The information and opinions contained herein provided by third parties have been obtained from sources believed to be reliable, but accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Retirement Education Foundation. This radio show is a paid placement.